Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Battletech. Last time we took on a battle in the Highlands somewhere else and did quite well actually. Uh, didn't get any new mechs but we did quite well. Um, and now we're here in Weldry to do the next part of the plot. Um, in the meantime we had a finances. I've decided to pay up a little bit extra this month so our morale is up to 40. Um, that's nothing much. Nothing. Nothing much happened else. Everything's pretty much fixed and repaired. I'm just gonna go straight into the contract. I'm assuming this is plot, considering it pays nothing and has no salvage. I was right. Ha 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 ha. And I promise you that our forces are maintaining a firm upper hand against this false restoration, thanks in part to the support of our newfound allies in the Torian Concordat. Just today. Those allies, led by the heroic Commodore Samuel Austin, liberated my own daughter, Victoria, from insurgent captivity. And though the fight was hard, our new friends won the day through the strength of their courage and the virtue of their purpose. Soon, we will end this war. And when we do, we will turn our attention back to the expansion of our industry and the betterment of our people. Goodbye, Lord Corrosus. And long live the Oregon Directorate. Goodbye, Lord Corrosus. Such a for being a dick. Well, kind of your fault. You told us to kill that ship, and that's why Ostergaard is so hellbent to kill it to go after us. It's because you decided that Newgrange was worth killing. Anna Maria, I summoned you here to discuss long-term strategy. Oh, Anna Maria is someone's name. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, uh, but we have a crisis to address. You see my uncle broadcast. What Ostergaard did to Lord Carosis, what his soldiers are still doing to the people of Smithon. I am honor-bound to ride to their defense. Come here. You've got much bigger things to worry about than Smithon. I won't miss words. Your cause is very nearly lost. With only a small fraction of the fleet, the Torians have you dramatically outgunned. Even the chance, given the chance, the Iberia alone could break your army in two. Uh, why are the Torians fighting for the Directorate? Do you have any concrete answers? If you're looking for proof, I can't help you. But I can tell you what I think is behind all this. The Perdition Massacre. And I believe that House Davion's attack on the Concordat created an opportunity for Spinoza. And unfortunately for us, I believe he has taken it. Perdition Massacre is a chemical attack on the Torian border of the system of Perdition that claimed 11,000 civilian lives. Um, it's a fight between House Davion and the Torian Concordat. Um, you think that Spinoza has offered them his support against the Federated Sons? In true manner speaking, yes. Protector Calderon believes that a Davian invasion of the Concordat, Torian Concordat is imminent. In the Directorate, he sees a convenient pawn and a buffer to protect a poorly defended stretch of the Concordat's border. If the Directorate's weapons have been aiming, coming from the Torian Concordat, I imagine that they've had a secret agreement in place for some time. Yeah, that makes sense. That, the timing makes sense. By arming the Directorate, Calderon would be fortifying his own border against invasion. When Espinosa learned about Castle Nautilus, he must have used it as a bargaining chip to get the Torians into the war on his side. In a limited intervention, but yes, Calderon would have leapt at the chance to claim an SLDF armory. With a major war imminent, the capture of a fully stocked outpost castle could have provided the Torians with a tremendous advantage. But you destroyed the armory and killed their soldiers, and apparently destroyed one of the dropships on Anvelt. I suspect that your problems with the Torian Concordat have only just begun. If Commodore Ostergaard wants to hurt us, he has to find us. The reach is a big place. It's a bit silly, but sure, we'll say that anyway. Of course it is. That's why the Torian battle mechs are sacking Smithen even as we speak. He's trying to lure Lady Arana to him. It's a deliberate provocation, Camilla. You must realize that. Before it gets the, the Torians on Arturo, we know what we're up against, so let's talk about how we're going to win this. Not too direct confrontation. If you let Ostergaard bait you into attacking him on Smithon, you will die, as will Lady Arano. This isn't hyperbole, Camilla. You will die if you take the field against him, and your restoration will perish with you. What would you counsel me to do, then? Nothing? You would have me sit on my hands while Torian Butcher murders the people I've sworn to protect? I would advise you to lead your army wisely and to stay out of battles you cannot win. Camilla, listen to me. There is still hope, but you won't find it on the battlefield. The alliance between the Torians and the Directorate is tenuous, far more so than they would have you believe. Protector Calderon knows what kind of a man your uncle is. We could turn allies into enemies if you play our cards right. 
Yeah, that's true. Why would he join forces with Espinosa in the first place? Well, that's, that's been answered already. His nation is in the British war with the Federated Sons. Commander Win. Yep. That's fine. As I said, we can turn the situation to our advantage. Even as we speak, my agents are digging for information that will open a rift between our enemies, and I am confident that they will find it. But Camilla, none of this will mean anything if you let Ostergaard goad you into suicidal charge. So I beg of you, ignore him. Stay away. He can't do that, Lady Centrella. If you'd been here before we liberated the system, if you'd seen the things we'd seen, you'd know better than to ask. I appreciate your advice, Lady Maria. If I were to follow it, the Oregon people would lose faith in me, and they'd be right to do so. I owe it to them to be better than that. And so I will fight, but not in the way that our enemies expect. Tell me what you mean. Ostergaard expects me to deploy my army against his forces on Smithon, to lead from the front, as I have in our battles with the Directorate. You've convinced me that this is a risk I cannot take. And so, if he expects me to come at him with a hammer, I will use a scalpel instead. I trust your company is up to the task, Breaker? <laughs> my company? Alone against a Torian assault force? It'll be an adventure, Lady Urano. Let it will, and I'll be guiding you on the comms every step of the way. You have my answer, Anna Maria. I won't take the field myself, and I won't redirect my army, but I'll be damned if I let Ostergaard's troops slaughter my people without a fight. Your mercenaries have been one of your key advantages in this war, Camilla. By doing this, you're putting them at grave risk. But if your heart is set on returning to Smithon, I am powerless to stop you. Instead, I'll wish you good luck and take my leave. I'll be in touch with my agents no more. But please, Camilla, stay safe. I don't know if I can stabilize the Reach without you. I won't let Ostergaard kill me, Anna Maria, I promise. Lady Arno's contract to repair the Torian assault on Smithon is ready for review in the command center. Alright, let's have a quick look at that then. Let's have a quick look at that. It is a 22 days to Smithon. Uh, 17 days to Brigham. Torn on the side is right here. It's a four skull right here. Smugglers have funded by the Directorate have set up just outside our borders, causing an ongoing problem for our restoration operations. We'd like to cut the head off this particular snake with a targeted, limited, and deniable strike on their leader. Ideally, this will shut them down permanently. Ooh. Ooh. You just go straight in. I am tempted to give this a shot. I am tempted to give this a shot. We should negotiate. For I'm gonna say from wow, really? That's rough. I get I get paid nothing if I want to get f the, the salvage of a full mech. Right, I'm gonna say this just in case, just in case you manage to get an assault mech out of this. Is a is a four. Uh, that was a really good combination last time. That worked quite well. Um. That worked quite well. Um, there were names given for the Battlemaster and the Highlaster. I just didn't look it up, sorry. I will do it at some point. Glitch, Starman's actually back. So, Glitch and Starman can swap out. I want you and the Highlander. Exodus, you're doing okay on the Battlemaster so far? Technically, Pathfinder is just... Uh, then again, it's got so many weapons that the ability to, to, to multitask is very useful. Behemoth, hi. Welcome, Behemoth. And Glitch, shooting okay. Do you want Decker to come out? Nah, because you've got way better tactical. Way better tactical. And actually, you've got the speed increase. So Sauce is going to keep going with us at the moment. That's the way, is that what I want to play it? Because it's Tundra, so I can afford to be a bit more... Play a little bit looser with heat efficiency. Um... But I don't really need to worry that much. I mean, everything else is okay. We want the Thunderbolt because of the movement speed. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We're going to go with this Rainmaker, Heinlander, Battlemaster, and the Thunderbolt. And I'll skip the loading screen again. Right, here we go. This is the area where the smugglers reportedly set up shop. Intel suggests direct hostile directorate units in the area. Be alert. Once the target is down, head for the extraction point for a pickup. Okay, destroy the smuggler leader, destroy all smuggler forces, destroy smuggler reinforcements. Yes, Commander. Let's move up. On my way. Everyone on the move. Enemy contacts. 
heavy and medium. And there's a little, there are lights for their head. Okay, uh, sauce. That's the medium, isn't it? Um, I'm tempted to just. Try. I'm tempted just to go, literally go for straight. Up. Uh, I need you to move. I do need you to move. I can put you in here. Firing jump jet. Put you over there. You mean you, uh, that is a Kintaro. You can go straight into the Kintaro. Ooh, that could go straight into... Just fire? A little bit of damage here and there. Knocking you down quick. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Thank you. Noted. Um, right, let's move back over here. The, the map border is here, and the map border is here, so we can't really get caught in the crossfire too badly. Just fire everything. Ooh, nice. Head hit as well, as well as destroying one of the SRM6s and one of his lasers. I like that. I appreciate it already. Kintaro's like, actually, no. Actually, goodbye. <laughs> Showing a new hostile. All right, waiting for the heavies to move. Seventy-five grasshopper. That is technically a heavy. Good. No sweat. I got you actually haven't done anything, have you? Yeah, you're in a bad place, because you're kind of exposed with no evasion, nothing else. Uh, so we're just going to look over here and, you know, just move up. So I gave some proper damage to you, then. Um, precision strike straight into, like, a leg, maybe? Or where, is, where do you keep your large laser? Where do you keep your large laser? Heat sinks, larium ammo, heat sinks. Large laser central. Okay, that's not going anywhere. So precision strike, grasshopper, right torso, fire. Solid connection on that one. Unsteady. I'll take it because it means you're gonna fall down. Behemoth. Uh, what's your anchor angle? Okay, so this means we need you to move a little bit. You're gonna fall down anyway, so just move there. So you've got still facing mostly that way. But unload everything you can onto that uh, grasshopper. I mean, I do mean everything you can. Sadly, it's just the PVC, but just the PVC should lock you down. Heat sink destroyed, and it's a knockdown. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Pilot injured. Okay, so lights again, or at least a medium with speed. My turn. Sauce. You'd actually have a. You can focus on. You can focus on stri yes, focus on stripping down as much as possible. Oh well. Oh well. Enemy down. It'll do. Not complaining about that, definitely not. Come on, medium. Really? I'm actually going to reserve here, because I want to see what their mediums do first. Because that's probably the Kintaro. That is probably the Kintaro. So, hi. Uh, Breaker, just move up here. Move up to get into the woods, and you're gonna sensor lock. Sensor lock that heavy. 
It's a viable option since locking what that is. What is that? That is a Orion 1K. Oh, you're right. Ow. It doesn't mean you've exposed yourself, Ryan, so that is a bit... Heavy heat, Commander. It's a little bit iffy for you. It does mean that my guy is going to go next. Uh, Behemoth... Yes, Commander. You haven't got... You have your line of sight? No, you, you, you do, but I want you to be closer. I want you to be closer, which means... Uh, is over here is kind of where I want you to go. Oh, come on. Waiting for orders. Here? Yeah, there. I'm still doing the facing this direction because Roger that's important. There. But now you're close up, you can just basically go, you know what? Fire everything. Like, just fire everything. Uh, we've got f pretty much full anyway, so we're actually going to fire everything. We're going to... Do we have a 1k? I think we have a 1k, so we're going to go for a... AC-10. Go for the go for that torso and just fire. Roger that. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, we did. I mean, Starman can probably do the same again. So Starman should go over there. On my way. We're all on top of that hill because it's the only bit with trees around. Uh, and, you know, just go straight for you, and just fire. If you hit central torso, that's fine. That's a leg. Yeah, that's you gonna fall over real quick. A medium or a light? Because it's a panther or maybe a vindicator or something. It's a bit silly to make the, all these the, all these things. Oh yes, this or this. It's like, no, it's, it could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of things. Um, what do I want to do? I want to move down. You can, you, upload, you can jump over here. You see, jump over here. That's gonna be really exposed, though. That's the only problem. That's gonna be really exposed. So once to get the sh to be able to get a shot off on this thing. To, to knock it down, possibly kill it, while getting eyes and everything else. Alternatively, you can do so th do that. That gives you eyes on. Yeah, you go do that. That'll give you eyes on two things. That gives you eyes on two things. That gives you eyes on the Kintaro and the Orion, and you can still like Alpha Strike the Orion considerably. Um, fire everything. You don't need to fire everything really. You, can just, you only need to fire the, the medium lasers. Because either it's going to get knocked down, or it's not, so just don't bother firing the medium lasers. Save the heat. Got it. <laughs> there you go. The missiles were just there to knock it down in case we didn't hit central torso. Hostile eliminated. My turn. Uh, breaker. I mean... Um... I kind of want to sensor lock the other thing. Sensor lock on target. A shadow hawk. Okay. I would like you guys to move personally, just because it's going to get really annoying if you don't. That'll loop. Thank you very much. That will do. Because now you're close enough for me to just completely wreck you. Heavies. Double AC shots? You missed twice. Some. Possibly the same mech. That was multiple. Yeah, we're, we're, you're staying in position, by the way. You're not moving. At least three heavies. At least three heavies. Or maybe an assault with a thing. Right, you're staying still. And just go straight fire everything there. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not the PPC? Fire everything else. Affirmative. There you go. 
Kintaro down. Target neutralized. And Starman, straight up. Pick a target of your choice. Precision strike. Uh, you say head. The head is actually not the way you do it, I believe. They did apparently there's an article that came out somewhere that did the maths, and it turns out that if you click on the head here, it's not actually five percent. It's something more along the lines of like two percent for some reason. Um, the central torso is way expanded. It's not fifty-four. It's something way higher than that. Out loop. It's all the the standard forces involved, which means you guys have to move into sensor range now. Hello. I'm assuming. Oh, is that? Are we actually? Did we temporarily leave combat? I think we temporarily left combat. Yeah, we temporarily left combat. Interesting. Yeah, so you are a light mech, so you are probably going to be a panther. You had a PPC, so you, you are a panther. Uh, sauce. Go. Up a little bit. Just a little bit. And you are going to drop the... Um, you are going to drop a uh, sensor lock on its head. Panther. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, panther. Panther, breaker. Hello. Line of sight? No. Dang. Uh, breaker. Um, move down behind the hill. Just angle up and fire. Let's also win. You can't be the leader. Please tell me you're not the leader. Please tell me you're not the leader. Because you kind of are, came there from alone and you're kind of coming from that direction. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yep. Okay, this is probably the leader over here. Nope, there's still heavies that are still over there, okay. That is probably a catapult. There's a lot of there's a lot of um LRMs there. Jesus, can you stop that please? And that's actually direct line of fire as well. That's probably the leader, to be honest. That's probably the leader. Okay, that's actually Okay. Good to go. Behemoth. Um, go up here. Yeah, we got we got whatever that mech is. That's whatever that mech is is the big boss mech. Uh, so we're gonna fire everything. It could be a breaching shot, but what would I want a breaching shot? Just the SRM six? Possibly, actually, because that would be a knockdown. So just fire the SRM-6, breaching. Roger. They'll give you unsteady. Which means Starman could just, you know, stay here, turn to face. Just single shot breaching over there, just with the Gauss rifle. But just, you do both of them. Yeah, fire both. Because that, that'll probably knock the Panther down if it doesn't outright kill it. That should be enough for the knockdown. Structure exposed and a knockdown, which means you're going to be moving at um, medium speeds. Still, you get to go first, but it's still hilarious. That is like, oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm in a bad position. All right, now Battlemaster's in the best position, so Battlemaster never, never has to move again, ever. Uh, you fired, uh, which means actually Breaker is just gonna uh, Breaker is gonna jump into a foresty place to get a agility, b cover, and then you're just gonna fire everything we can to you. already lost your evasive. Enemy turn. 
Ow. That is the PPC plus. God damn it, Behemoth. Uh, sauce. You move up here, sauce. Yeah, I kind of want you to move up there, sauce. You know, just get some. Can you get some? Uh, move up here. There you go. Move that there. Get some, get some, get some eyes on. Um, and then Alpha Strike. Yeah, Alpha Strike that Panther. You can lock it down no matter how, what happens. Or not. I could be wrong. <laughs> Did some good damage, though. Did some good damage. I mean, definitely enough damage that Behemoth can just... Wolverines. Ow. You might actually be, um... Yeah, I'm thinking you actually have to, uh... You're gonna Vigilance. Right, now's the big boss guy, whoever he is, who's firing multiple missiles. No, you're going down. Blast. You're going, you're falling down. Internal structure damage. Knock down, yeah, knock down. Blast. Commander, I'm wounded. Are you? You shouldn't be. You should have ignored the wound. Is that what the boss is in Orion 1K? Really? As in G++, Chris, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I need the MCG++. Uh, standing by. Stand up. Uh, yep. Regain stability, Commander. Here we go. Yeah, move up here, please. Move down there. And then you, got, you are going to Vigilance. Just so you get to go... That's during that phase, because that phase is currently very painful for me. Um, you can't actually fire anyone at the moment, so just brace as well. Uh, Starman, hi. I kind of want to finish that guy off, personally. He's ticking me off. Yeah, that'll do. That's you down, at least. Eliminated. It doesn't mean that there's the, the 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 light doesn't move anymore. There's a Wolverine there, which is actually in line of sight now. Which means that um, which means that Thunderbolt's actually going to move down to here. Yeah, you can move over here. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, that was more than I thought it was going to be. Four, five, yeah, that's correct, that's the correct number. Uh, which means you're actually going to aim, we're going to precision strike straight into your central torso, please. All weapons are go. Oh no! You came here, you won it! You won. It does, however, mean that. Breaker could probably go for it. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, Breaker's probably gonna go for it. Breaker, um. Split fire between that one and A and B. Uh. Fire 20A, fire that at B. Um, fire everything. As long as one of those hit central torso, it's dead, so. Fire. Engaging there you go. Central torso down. Good. Which means this is going to get a bit more punishment. It's less missiles, but more stability damage. And a head hit as well. Beautiful. Thank you. Mwah. Appreciate that. Now, you are a Thunderbolt SS5E, the same Thunderbolt we've got. Uh, 
Heat sink destroyed. Great. Don't destroy my heat sinks. I need them. Right. Behemoth. Waiting for order. Need some good positioning here. I'm probably you got some good positioning here. You haven't got any. Um, that is actually some pretty good positioning because that means you only get seen by that guy. Position confirmed. And we are going to actually. Because you can hit with everything, can't you? Yes, you can. So you're actually going to precision strike that guy straight into this, into the, into the proverbials. Straight into the proverbials. You can go for the head personally, because it's, it's only a four percent chance to hit. So yeah, so go for the head just in case on the off chance you hit. If not, you're going to be pretty much focusing the damage. So much damage, you're going to die. You're going to kill it anyway. Good. Which means now it's that thing, which I haven't yet decided what you are yet. Orion, possibly. God dang it. Uh, and now the Orion, yep. Yeah. We split fire. No, it's a Jaeger. It's a. It's a Jaeger mech. It's, a, it's the Jaeger mech with missile launchers. You're going down again, aren't you? You're, you're going down. Knocked down. Took a hard hit there. Stabilizers failed. Right. Noted. I'm falling. Bonk. Ugh. Ow. Oh, that really hurts. Gosh dang it, sauce. Uh, Starman. You got no line of sight, do you, Starman? Right, which means you need to move. Uh, which means it's not great, but you can move to there, which still is woody. Heading out. That Thunderbolt is now your line of sight. Uh, just fire at it. Engaging. Straight up left arm destroyed. Straight up massive to full and steadiness. Breaker, uh, just... You know, launch heavy fire and just wreck it, please. I'm not expecting you to take it down, but they'll knock it down at least. Good. Hi, Ryan. Center torso is... Okay, center torso is okay. Center torso is not in risk of dying. Although the cold shot slowed it down again. Bugger. Left torso. Oh my god, Thunderbolt. I'm actually... A... Yeah, you're, you're, I'm ejecting you. <laughs> I'm ejecting you. You actually have nothing of. Uh, no. Technically, the Thunderbolt still's got to go, right? Yeah, we're gonna do it. You gotta stand up, and you're you're, you're ejecting you because you've got nothing in the head. And yeah, I could. I don't mind losing the head part for this. I am up. See ya, sauce. Eject, buddy. That thing's pretty much dead anyway, right? Yeah, it's pretty... Like, some good alpha strikes will, will do the trick. Commander. Behemoth, that's not great, I'll be honest with you. Um, Starman, can you get some Commander. good... Can, you know, that, 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 that'll be a good sight. You need to get some good sight there, at least. Out. Then... Precision strike you straight into the central torso with everything. Fire. Roger that. There you go. Ammo explosion. You put ammo in the central torso, you're gonna die. Hope we can salvage that. Now, Behemoth, hi. Uh, what I want to do with you? Okay, you can actually gonna move up there. You can move up here like, like this. In fact, you can move up there and basically show as much of as little as that side as possible to the target. Um. 
That's, that, that is a yeah, yeah. So that is a missile Jaeger yeah, mech. Um, you are going to precision strike. Um, the Orion or the Jaeger? Who's got less armor? The Jaeger. Precision strike the Jaeger down. It's a shutdown alert. Don't fire the PPC then. Uh, central torso for the Jaeger. Yeah, fire everything you can. Central torso. And blow it to part. Do it. Blow it to pieces. Beautiful. Thank you. Tango down. Because all that's left is my turn and Spraker. You know, just immediately, immediately precision strike that because the precision strike here. This is the key point. The precision strike on you is going to mean that you're going to move. It's irrelevant. <laughs> I was going to say it's going to move. Uh, it's going to mean you move um, in the assault phase, but it's, so am I the mechs. I can't push you back far enough. Yeah, I can't. I literally can't stop it. Damn it. We lost the SRM six. Dang it! We lost the SRM six. That's the build. That's the real bugger for me. Uh, Highlander. Uh, don't, don't, uh, no, 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 Behemoth, can yeah. you punch it? You can punch it. Do so, because I want to, that'll lose the, that, that means it loses the uh, evasiveness. You're unsteady, Starman. Uh, you can't, that, just hit it, and everything. After I destroy it and a knockdown, which means I definitely get to do at least Breaker gets to fire everything, and Breaker's missiles can do a lot of damage. Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. Really? Is it? Is that what it's trying to do? Because it's not going to be able to do that very well. Uh, cold shot in the head, fire everything. It's unlikely, but hey. Still stripping down all the armor. If he wants to run away from us, by all means, buddy. I'll just knock you down again and again and again and again. Behemoth. Behemoth. No, Behemoth. Yeah. Okay. Fine. If it turns out you can't actually do that. Um. Moving out. Everything, please. Yeah, everything, please. Got the angle. Taking the shot. And Starman. No, Starman. Can you get? Can you get a bank? You can get a better angle. Good. That is the correct angle. That is a better angle, at least. All right, do that then. Coordinates received. Firing. Yes. 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 It's unsteady, which means it's going to get knocked down. Breaker, rain fire on it, please. He's going to get a knockdown. He's going to get up straight immediately, but it's not going to be able to sprint after getting up, I believe. gonna get a turn, but I don't think it can reach that far. They managed to sprint. Waiting for Bugger. Um Heading out. Battle Master, hit it with everything you can, please. Locking on. It's not going to be able to run. It's not going to have to run away, is it? Please tell me it's not going to run away. Right. Uh, Good to go. Highlander, can you hit it from here? Oh my god, it's going to be a really bad shot. Um, 
receiving you. Can jump there. That's a better shot, isn't it? That is a better. That's the that's as better shot. That's as good a shot we're going to get. Unfortunately, it's as good a shot as we're going to get. Oh, thank God for that. Thank you, Starman Sniper of Legend, as usual. Beautiful. Target neutralized. Starman Sniper of Legend. All targets eliminated, sit tight. Yep. Mission successful. I've never had one try to escape before. Yeah, and it's one of those moments where I kind of wish I had um, Source around, but I still don't. I think I didn't even, I don't think don't think I played it incorrectly there because Sauce is still going to be out for so long. Um, right, that needs repairing because you lost the SRM six plus plus, which is really annoying. Um, right, or do you get salvage wise anything of interest? The grasshopper, um, the Orion one K. I've got part of that, haven't I? But it's, it's a different Orion to the one I already have. AC2 pluses don't care about those, to be honest. Although that is an interesting thing. That's a lot of stability damage in a single LRM2. Um, again, laser threes. Calm system. Jump jets. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Yeah, so what are we going to go for? We're going to go for... The mech parts I'm okay with. I'll take the laser, I think. And I'll take a calm system, because we're not have enough of those. Done. And you also get a part of the Wolverine anyway, and we're going to get the AC2 with the stability damage anyway. Cool. Grab all that. Let's figure this out then. Let us figure this out. Come on. Thank you. Don't be fooled by its whimsical name. The Grasshopper is a killer that specializes in hunting down light and medium mechs. Its superb jump ability and good armor allow it to get behind foes easily to bring down its all energy weapons to bear. Cool. That is what we do have that. Um, Sauce is out of action for nine days, unfortunately. Um, mech Warrior time. I got some more experience. I get to put points into Guts. So I don't need, I don't need Guts. Uh, base weapon hit. But I want to save up for the last for Tactics 10. We might save up for Tactics What's 10. You get points into Guts. That is very useful for you, isn't it? Yeah, take the Guts. Might as well. You are kind of all... You're all about Guts, so keep it that way. Uh, Decker, no. Exodus, no. Who flew? Starman. 512 Starman? Piloting? Or Guts? Or... Indirect fire penalty for you. We're still working there because you want to get you to cold shot master. We want, to get you, we want to get you up to cold shot master. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call it there for now, folks. Just do some repairs and then we'll carry on next time. So you need some refitting of the serious degrees of refitting. Because uh, you need to replace the head, repair the body, repair the left torso. Replace the arm, which has a le which has a large laser in it. It's a large laser again, and you have what's it? Two heavy jump jets and three heat sinks. Two heavy jump jets, which I'm actually running out of, and two and uh, three heat sinks. That is the correct full tank. Uh, we can put in TTS for energy, TTS for ballistic. We can put TTS for energy. That's free, right? That's actually accuracy three. Oops. Um, accuracy one. Gyro is less stability damage. Kind of want to put that on the battle master. I'll be honest with you. Kind of want to put that on the battle master. Uh, we'll hit okay. Confirm. Ten days. Hundred thousand. And battle master. You lost the SRM six battle master. I don't don't like that. Replace that left arm, replace that. So it's what? Three medium lasers. Uh, medium laser, medium laser, medium laser. Don't bother putting that one in there, we just lost too much. SRM6. Uh, wow, it's even better than the previous one. Please do not lose it. Uh, SRM6 and 
two SRM ammo. Yeah, SRM ammo, SRM ammo is going. SRM ammo is there. We're gonna spread out some heat sinks a bit because I want to put the I want to put the gyro on you. Gyro is three slots worth. So I'm gonna put the gyro there. Gyro there, which means minus thirty percent stability damage taken. That'll do nicely for you. Repair that as we're at it. Confirm. That'll take twelve days. That's it takes longer to do that than it does to fully refit the um, thunderbolt. And we'll worry about the next time, folks. I'll see you then. Bye.